Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, November 2nd, 2021. And we begin with Halloween over, costumes getting packed away, but what to do with leftover pumpkins? Most people just toss the orange gourds. It's estimated a billion pounds are left to rot in landfills each year. And all that rotting fruit emits large amounts of methane, a greenhouse gas even more potent than carbon dioxide. One good alternative is to turn the good old jack-o'-lantern into food. Roasted pumpkin seeds are a tasty snack, and the flesh inside can be used to make breads, soups, or pies. Other options are dropping pumpkins off at a local compost collection center or burying it if you have a big backyard. Better still, see if your town or city or local zoo has a pumpkin-smashing party. At these organized events, the remains will be collected and composted once the gourds have been smashed. SpaceX was planning to send four astronauts up to the International Space Station under a full moon on Halloween Sunday, but due to bad weather over the Atlantic and now what's being called a minor medical issue with one of the crew members, the soonest it will launch is 11.36 p.m. Eastern Saturday night. NASA did not identify which astronaut is sick, nor did it give any details beyond saying it has nothing to do with COVID. The Crew-3 astronauts will spend about six months at the ISS, conducting science experiments, spacewalks, and maintaining the station with their Russian counterparts. The blastoff will be done using the Dragon spacecraft, which recently sent four civilians into space, where they orbited the Earth for three days. And it's the fact that SpaceX can reuse these capsules, unlike in the past where they could only be used once, that has caused the private company's value to really take off. In fact, financial corporation Morgan Stanley recently predicted that SpaceX would make founder Elon Musk the world's first trillionaire. It could be the end of an era for baseball. After the season is over, the players' union and league will negotiate some new rules. And one that many suspect will go away is having pitchers be part of the batting rotation. Currently, this is only done in the National League, but a lot of teams and players don't like the risk of pitchers getting hurt at the plate. That includes Astro star Carlos Correa, who says having pitchers hit is not real baseball, and he only wants to see real hitters at the plate. That sounds harsh, but the numbers are pretty clear. According to the Bleacher Report, pitchers have a 109 batting average this season, the lowest since records began in 1916. Starting in 2022, we're likely to see a universal DH, or designated hitter, for both leagues. First, though, the World Series. Game 6 takes place tonight in Houston, with the Braves leading the best-of-seven series three games to two. Finally, some encouraging news about butterflies. Western monarchs with their distinctive orange, black, and white wings are showing up in much bigger numbers this fall along the California coast. Last week, for example, over 1,300 were counted at a migrating site in Pacific Grove. Last year, there were none. The official count of Western monarchs doesn't start for two weeks, but volunteers see these early numbers as a positive sign for the insect's struggling population. Exactly why the numbers are going up isn't clear, but experts believe it's a combination of rainfall, temperature, and the availability of food. There are many efforts going on right now to save monarch butterflies, but one thing everyone can do to help is plant flowers that provide nectar for monarchs, like native milkweed. While President Biden and many of his staff are in Glasgow, Scotland right now for the big climate conference, COP26, one familiar face who is not there is his press secretary, Jen Psaki. She's the person who answers questions from the press about the administration. But Ms. Psaki announced on Sunday that she's tested positive for COVID after likely catching it from members of her family. She last saw the president a week ago, and she said they sat outside more than six feet apart and wore masks. The press secretary, who is fully vaccinated, said she is experiencing just mild symptoms and will work from home until 10 days after she tests negative for the virus. In other Kid News notes, today is Election Day in the United States. The year after a presidential contest is not a big one for elections, but two states, Virginia and New Jersey, will be selecting a new governor today. And several major cities are holding elections for mayor, including New York, Boston, Buffalo, Minneapolis, Atlanta, and Seattle. The debates for many of these races involve local issues like housing, as well as national issues like the handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. That's it for Kid News. Now, our Kid News quiz. 
What popular Halloween decoration can be eaten or composted? A pumpkin. What insect, which has seen a big dip in its population, seems to be making a comeback along the California coast? The Western Monarch Butterfly. What rule may change in baseball next year? Pitchers would no longer hit in the National League. SpaceX founder Elon Musk could become the world's first what? Trillionaire. In our Kid News Kicker, sometimes it can be hard to wrap your head around really large numbers. So here's one example that might help. A million seconds is the same as 11 and a half days. A billion seconds is 31.7 years, and a trillion seconds is 31,709 years. Before we go, a big Kid News shout out to some of our terrific teachers and their students, including Mrs. Pachantek at Hendersonville Elementary in Hendersonville, North Carolina, Mr. Connor at Los Medanos Elementary in Pittsburgh, California, Mrs. Justin, who has the best class at Duker School in McHenry, Illinois. Miss Aphrodite at PS 184 in Whitestone, New York, and Miss Davis and her team enthusiasm at Swanson and Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. Thanks for listening. It really helps if you rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. And we hope you tune in for more kid news tomorrow morning.